Hi guys, this is your boy Emmanuel Ajmaibadu. Go on YouTube and subscribe to Sahara Football. Cheers. Black Stars call-ups, Black Stars players arrival. A couple of the players have started coming and trooping into town and uh, we're going to have a look at some arrival videos for the Black Stars players who will be in town for the game, final AFCON qualifier games between Ghana and Angola first of all on the 15th and then on the 18th versus Niger. Today we're going to talk about the Black Stars players. A couple of them will be missing out and uh, it's looking like there will be more players pulling out of the Black Stars squad in the coming days. Unfortunate that that has to happen but looking at the position we find ourselves in I think uh, it is something we should expect. So yesterday I brought you that update on Inyaki Williams. Yes Inyaki Williams confirmed he was not in his side's a team today as they travel to play Real Valladolid. 1-1. One, one. It ended in the end. Inyaki was not there, but Nico Williams played a part. Inyaki Williams has an issue with his hamstring, which his club officially announced, and they said that owing to that, he will not be with the Ghana national team. Probably will be out and he'll be assessed later. That was what was said. And uh, we all know what happens when these assessments take place, but that is on the front of Inyaki Williams. He will be out. Another Ghanaian player who is also uh, reportedly going to be out, uh, confirmed more or less, is Osman Ibrahim. He recently moved uh, to find out on loan from Brighton and Owabi after securing that move from FC Norshaland to Brighton and Owabi. He was loaned out to Feyenoord where he has been finding his goal scoring feat. He scored two goals so far this season and he's been a delight to watch. Uh, many are saying that he could be amazing in that number nine position. So it will be interesting to see how uh, Osman Ibrahim uh, grows into that role. But uh, the news is that he is injured. Yeah, he is not going to be available and he'll be assessed whether we'll be calling in replacements or not, I don't know. But I think late uh, call-ups will be made mostly to local players. I think uh, the shift to local players will be forced here because, first of all, uh, some of the players, the clubs might not allow them to come in. Considering Ghana playing in more or less two dead rubber games, a draw from Sudan in one of those games would mean that it's not really going to be as important a match as it was sought to be so that is what is uh, the reason why some of these guys are pulling out the reports are that more of them will be pulling out we'll be updating you accordingly but another injury update from a player who has been out for a very lengthy time made a move a lone one at that uh, from his club side rc law to sunderland is uh, uh, salis abdul samed samed and his club sunderland are saying that uh, he is expected to be back, but back in January. Now, the Sunderland FC manager, Regis Lebre, says he's hoping Salis Abdul Samed and other players will be fit to return to uh, the squad in January. He's not played since uh, signing for them. He had an injury issue before that loan move. The Ghanaian midfielder who joined the championship side on a season-long loan deal from French Liga side RC Long is he yet to feature for the club and now Sally suffered a muscle injury uh, which has delayed his debut for the black cat speaking to northern echo uh, labri said he is hoping for a positive uh, return for Sally abdul samed and ahmed abdullah and ian paveda who are responding to treatments for respective injuries we should have two or three players uh, that haven't played or so far available by january I would like to have Ahmed and Salis and Ian in the team because so far we haven't really been able to see what they can do. If these three players are available, then the team should be even stronger. They are players with three different profiles to what we currently have. Then uh, we will ha also have uh, to see whether or not we lose other players before January. Hopefully, that will not happen, but we will have to see, he added. Salis Abdul Samet carried deal with RC Long, 
will expire in June 2028. You saw that time Sally Sabto Samet got a contract extension with RC Law after an amazing first season. Saw them finishing second and uh, moving into the Champions League. A uh, rise baby a bit too early for him and that saw him uh, fall down the pecking order a wee bit but Sally Sabdo Samed will not be available for Ghana in the foreseeable future he is, will not be available until the January window there he will not be available because he has been injured since the time they signed him the coach says they don't know what he can do they have not seen him in action they want all these three players and hope that they are available by January. We wish him a speedy recovery and we wish Salis Abdul Samed all the best in his new adventure uh, with Sunderland and uh, hopefully it does go well for him. We'll have a look at some of the arrivals of uh, Ghana Black Stars players at the Kotoka International Airport. Uh, arriving uh, was uh, uh, French legal players who played uh, early on on Friday and uh, Elisha Wusu they play for AJ Oxair. Mikel Antonio is in Ghana yeah Antonio Mikel is in Ghana and I was surprised I couldn't see Thoma, uh, Kudus Mohammed uh, coming in with him uh, but Mikel Antonio is in Ghana and I saw Mikel Antonio arrive in this video as you can see on your screen here I was thinking uh, he would uh, be uh, uh, approaching us uh, or coming down uh, with uh, uh, Kudus Mohammed, but I think Kudus will come later on. Uh, but he is here uh, to visit Samba Stars Academy in Bompata, so we'll be following in closely and updating you. Let's have a look at the arrival of some of the Ghana Black Stars players ahead of uh, the African Cup of Nations uh, final two games between Angola first, November 15th, and then. November 18th versus uh, Niger in Accra here. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Yo, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm good, yeah. 